We all recognize the remarkable advancements Godot has achieved lately, launching impressive new versions equipped with vital tools. The community has matched this progress by consistently creating add-ons. Today, I will present 5 add-ons that will definitely improve your game development experience. Let's dive in. 1. Terra Brush Terra Brush is an add-on that will allow you to build your 3D environment using some kind of brush. It is super easy to use as you basically have the different elements that you want your environment to have and when you select any of these elements you are up to start clicking in the screen and TerraBrush will automatically instantiate the corresponding objects into your terrain. The main advantage is the fact that it uses a height map. This will allow you to for example build some trees on top of the ground thanks to the height change. Also, you can quickly load in a variety of textures to, to your terrain, modifying its color and texture. In conclusion, TerraBrush is an amazing tool for creating 3D environments because by basically using some, something similar to a brush and using the height map setting, you're going to be able to completely build your 3D environments in a quite easy and efficient way. 2. Goodout Copilot Without Copilot will allow you to use AI inside of the Without Editor. It uses the ChatGPT's API, so you will get the results that are based in ChatGPT's algorithm. This add-on allows you to make any kind of request directly in the Without Editor, which saves time as everything can be made directly in the Without Editor without needing to visit ChatGPT and to copy and paste the code. As everything can be done directly inside of Grout, you can save considerable amount of time, even more when doing numerous requests in a short amount of time. I don't have to mention I think all the advantages that AI provides within game development, but just to mention one that maybe you don't use a lot is the fact that it can really help with naming constraints. If you don't know how to properly name a variable, function, argument, etc., Copilot can definitely help you get to the most accurate name possible. It can also help with terms of creativity as well when you know which feature to add with your, to your game, uh, which mechanic, etc. Anyway, AI has no limits, so feel free to experiment in your own while using Copilot that will allow you to use ChatGPT's algorithms inside of the Godot editor. Waterways is a tool used to generate rivers with flow and foam maps quite easily. It's easy since the setup only consists on adding the new river node and from there with the path controls it provides you you start shaping the river in a visual and efficient way. You literally need no shader settings, no import of anything, you just add a node, start shaping the path and that's all that you need. It, it provides a setting snap to colliders that will allow you to place the path of the river along a terrain. So indeed, this tool can still be used with your existing projects at no cost at all as it is super easy to adapt it with your existing environments and terrains. Finally, when you are happy with the river that you had created, there is a handy option to bake out the textures that activate flow map and foam actually making your river a reality. It also has other more advanced options such as the possibility of adding objects that could float on the river. Again, the setup is super simple with just some notes needed and clicking on a button. 4. Goodout Instance Dock Goodout Instance Dock's usage can be summarized in just its name. It will create a dock in which you will be able to drag and drop the scenes you want to have in a handier way on a dock. Then, by clicking on the dock and then pressing on the scene, it will automatically instantiate that object inside of the screen. This add-on is perfect for those projects that heavily rely on manual instances and that because of the size of the project, having a dog can actually save some time instead of having to navigate around some folders and files. Without regular Polygon 2D While using collision shapes, there could be scenarios in which we need collisions that don't match any of the shapes provided by collision shape node. Of course, you can still create your own polygon collision shape, but this is a little bit more complicated, time-consuming, and less performant. 
That is why regular Polygon 2D is so helpful as it provides a new node in which you can set the amount of sides you want your polygon to have and, uh, and it will automatically adjust its shape. As a result, you are able to quickly create different shapes such as triangles and pentagons in no time. So this was all for today's video, if you found any of these sounds helpful, please subscribe to the channel, like the video as well, and let me know in the comments which of these sounds you actually found the most helpful. I am always uploading new good old content, even about good old add-ons, so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. See you in the next one, and bye bye.